Here is the hockey stick from the Greenland Ice Course samples. Note that man's hockey stick and this hockey stick are from different sources. Man's hockey stick appears after 1900, while this hockey stick appears at 1850, at the end of the Little Ice Age. Any glacier course will not give recent data from 1900 to the present, as the ice is not thick enough to provide reliable data. From the same ice core samples, we notice that the medieval warming period was much warmer than what we're experiencing now. Going back a few thousand years, we can see that there are periods of warming that were warmer than the medieval warming period. At this time in history, agriculture was thriving and allowed for expansions of civilizations. In fact, the warming has been significant for the past 10,000 years. The upswing in temperature in the modern period is far less than any temperature maximum shown by the Greenlandic ice cores. Around 10,000 years ago, we see a precipitous drop in temperature corresponding with the last ice age. Going back about 50,000 years, we see that our era is unprecedented for warmth, but the warmth is due to other influences, not carbon dioxide, as there were no significant man-made carbon dioxide influences 10,000 years ago when the world started warming. Even in the Antarctic ice core, we see that the periods of warming are few and far between, and the modern warming period is still below warming seen in the medieval warming period and other warmer spells in the modern epoch. Before this warming period was an ice age which lasted at least 3,000 years. Even the warm period of the ice age was a good 10 degrees cooler than it is today, and the heart of the ice age was 20 degrees cooler in central Greenland. Compare that to the Vostok core, and we see a similar pattern of cooling approximately 10,000 years ago that dropped global temperatures up to 8 degrees C from current temperatures. It should be noted that the ice ages make for inhospitable climate, especially for agriculture. Warming temperatures as those seen in the medieval warming period, or even the optimum reached in 1200 BC, are time periods when life thrives on Earth. Attempting to prevent such warmth through drastic action seems counterproductive. So what we are seeing here is that the modern unprecedented warming is something that actually has been seen in the past. In fact, warm periods in the past have coincided with the launch of civilization and do not coincide with increased levels of carbon dioxide.